I am wearing my bathroom because it is freezing cold. I got this from Black Friday. This is the Victoria's Secret bathroom and I love it because it has this. It's so cute. So, my goodness. Let's go ahead and open this. I am color medium warm 53. I love the Kat Von D lipsticks and concealer. So I hope I would love this foundation too. Um, so it looks like this. Her packaging is always amazing. Like seriously. It's so her. And then it has this. How nice is that? It has like a clip. So you take this off and it's like a pump. And I have my beauty blender right here. I have applied my prep moisturizer already and uh, my pore filler which is from Perfect. And then I'm just going to do one. Oops. Nothing is coming out. There you go. So this is just one pump. Let's try it with one pump first and just as usual. Doesn't have that like chemical y smell. Um, it sets pretty fast, so we have to make it like the blending process fast too. As you guys can see, I don't know if the camera is giving justice to it, but it sets pretty fast and super matte. You know how some other foundation, matte foundations, they're um, matte, but they look dewy at first and then they set as a matte. But with this one, the moment you blend it to your skin, it has this uh, matte finish right away. So this is a good day for me to try out this foundation. It says it's a locket uh, foundation and it's practically saying that it is oh it is it does say it's a 24 hour wear it's a full coverage transfer resistant and matte finish i heard that this foundation does oxidize this as well so this is with one pump it doesn't feel heavy on the face um it looks really really matte um with one pump it does cover stuff though i can still see i can still see some of um my scars right here peeking through so you could add some more i guess if you want to or you can keep it like that so it doesn't look too heavy let me go ahead and finish my makeup i am going to use the kat von d concealer as well so i can see how those two things it will it should work together really nicely but let me go ahead and finish it and then i'll talk to you guys in a bit so sorry about the reflection of the lighting on my glasses i have very bad eyes so obviously that's why i wear glasses but anyhow um my makeup is set my makeup is done um i put some contour and blush i did not put any highlight um the foundation does oxidize this number one i do uh, see that for some reason my ca the camera always um shows or the camera always makes it seem like my face is lighter than my body but just looking at the natural <laughs> mirror um i see that the foundation oxidizes actually um so this if you actually see it in person it's the same as um the color of my body which is you know i'm happy because i picked out the right color of the foundation i really like it that it's matte because as you guys know already if you guys have been watching my videos I like everything matte. Lips, foundation, you know, everything. Especially, I am very, very oily. Um, with this foundation, though, you really have to moisturize properly and to prime your face properly. Um, and as I mentioned a while ago, the foundation sets pretty fast. So you really have to work on the foundation and blend the foundation 
quickly too on your face so that it doesn't look patchy so i have a whole full day today i will check back with you guys um later when i get back from a meeting all right let's go ahead and put this foundation to the test and we'll check back in a bit it's just a quick update i just got back home and it's been what 10, 11 12 1 2 it's been about four or five, good four or five hours uh, since I applied my foundation. I went out on this very important meeting. I was walking downtown and it was really windy and cold and I was in a lot of stress. And usually when I get stressed, that's where my oil is just really like on my face. Um, first, I really, really like how this foundation looks like on my skin. Um, I do see this area getting oily um, in this area, which is very, very normal for me, even though I use a matte foundation. Um, but if you ask me if it's the if the foundation's still there, it's totally there. It's holding my blush really, really nicely. Well, I'm still gonna eat, and then I'll check back with you guys again at the end of the day. Okay, so I think this is a good time for me to end this review. Um, it's already almost 8 o'clock p.m. I only blot one time using my blotting sheets from NYX, which is this one. I love this one and the green one. So only one time. Coverage twice, um, it's still there. Um, obviously my nose is super oily, my cheeks are super oily as well, and my forehead which are the common areas that I really, really get super, super oily, no matter how mattifying foundation I'm wearing. Like, I've tried Marc Jacobs All Nighter Foundation. I love all those foundation because I don't really... Hold on, my phone. I don't really blame them for, you know, my face because I'm really, really, really oily. For me, I actually like this one better than the Marc Jacobs one because the Marc Jacobs one can make you feel or can make you look a little cakey while with this one i don't really see it it's very comparable to the all-nighter foundation i would say um i could do a review comparison for this too um and they're both lightweight if you guys are gonna ask me obviously i'm very happy so this is absolutely a buy for me especially for people who want a full coverage in a mattifying foundation i'm not really sure if this is i will recommend this for somebody who has um dry skin if you guys have dry skin you should really really moisturize i would recommend um like such moisturizer like the fix face cream or the face cream from curtidence um if you guys have normal skin um normal skin type or oily like me the prep moisturizer will be a good base for this type of um, foundation very, very important that when you do a full coverage foundation you have a good base before you actually apply the foundation to make it really nice and yeah good so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this review um i hope this is enough time for us to test this locket conceal uh locket foundation and if you guys have any requests please let me know and i'm sorry i look so happy it's been a very busy day for me today so yeah thank you guys for watching